Welcome to Inside the Real Estate Market. My name is John Piero Forfaro, broker of record for Remax Condos Plus. Today I'm going to be talking about navigating FISBOs for sale by owners and mere postings. If you have a buyer, consider for your next BRA uh, two contracts, one for MLS listings and one for mere postings and FISBOs. Each contract can state their own commission and this will actually create dialogue with your buyer regarding various buying scenarios, agency relationships, buyer commission obligations, and procedural and document handling. There are steps that you are going to have to follow when dealing with these types of transactions, but first it starts with the buyer showing interest. So your buyer may be interested in pursuing a, a FISBO or a mere listing. If that's the case, your first step is to contact the seller. If the seller is agreeable to showing the property to your buyer, uh, you will need the following forms filled out. There are various scenarios which can occur uh, from dealing with such types of properties. Scenario number one, the seller is agreeable to uh, cooperate on all terms. If that's the case, you show the property and if the buyer's interested, you prepare the offer. Scenario number two, the seller is agreeable but not to cooperate in full or in part for commissions. If this is the case, then you have to explain to your buyer client that you can show them the property, but since the, buyer, the seller is not paying the commission, then the buyer will be responsible for the deficiency. At that point, the buyer generally applies a commission cost approach to value. Scenario number three is when the seller is not agreeable at all. If that's the case, you can't be involved. However, you'll find that the buyer may try to purchase the property privately, but you may also want to express to them that if they were to do that, they will be responsible or can be responsible for your commission, plus the additional legal costs and contract advice. So in short, you can have more than one BRA per buyer client. And when you do so, even if it's just one, just ensure that they fully understand the different types of scenarios that they will be involved in during the course of a real estate transaction. And also know that when you're dealing with a customer, you're not obligated to provide any kind of advice, CMAs or negotiation, any fiduciary duties whatsoever. You're there to facilitate the transaction. Also know that consumers do not need to follow the same procedures that we do. So even though we're obligated to utilize such forms, if there's resistance, the first step you should do is talk to your broker before you even begin to get into a contract of purchase and sale. Also note that for FISBOs, financing down payments can be roughly about 65%. And in both, in all cases actually, for FISBOs and mere listings, a mortgage appraisal will be required up front. So if your client is interested in viewing a property and you get to the point where you're actually going to show them the property, the first step I would do is contact your mortgage broker and start discussing what needs to be done in order to prepare the buyer for the eventual sale. The other additional thought that you can think of is that if you are going to have two contracts, one for the MLS and one for FISBOs and mere postings, why not charge a little bit more for the mere postings and FISBOs just due to the amount of involvement that you're going to have in that transaction? The real estate landscape continuously changes. Adaptation is key to success. Stay tuned next week for our follow-up on FISBOs and mere postings in preparing the offer. Thank you and have a great day.